Remind me again, Shellington. What do you call those creatures you're looking for? Huh? Oh! Remipedes, Captain. They're very unusual creatures, and this area is crawling with them. Well, before you head out, let me just show you how to drive the Gup D one more time. Oh, I'll be fine, Captain. I've seen the Gup D in action. Yes, but Shellington, you've never driven her yourself. But I know how it starts. You just press this. <gasps> no, not yet. You have to close the windscreen first. OK, now you can start the engine. Well done. Now be careful. Steady as she goes. Don't worry, Captain. I know what I'm doing. Oh, whoops. Oh. Remember, take it easy. Very easy. Oh, oh whoops. Oh, hey. Tweak, we'd better keep an eye on the Gup D, just in case Shellington gets into trouble. Agreed, Cap. I'll check the Gup Finder. So far, so good. Let's see, remipedes. Um, well, they swim on their backs, have lots of legs, long antennae, and live in dark sea caves. Ooh, dark sea caves. Oh, now where can I find a dark sea cave? Oh! 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 Oops! Oh! Oops! Oh, jumping jellyfish, a dark sea cave. I must investigate. <gasps> Cap, Shellington has crashed. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, Shellington has crashed the Gup D. If anything's happened to him, I'm ready. The Gup C is ready too, Cap. Peso, Quasi, let's go. Tweak, open the Octa hatch. You got it, Cap. Good luck. Amazing! Look at those stalactites and these stalagmites. Huh? Oh! You're not a remipede. You're a worm. <laughs> I must investigate further. Avast! There's the Gup D! What's left of it? But where's Shellington? Hmm? A sea cave! Do you think he could be in there? Let's find out. Mm. 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 This cave just goes on and on. <gasps> what was that? Huh? I must be seeing things. Mm. Now, which way to go? <gasps> Sounds like there's something down there. Magnifying glass. Oh no, we've got to find him. Caves are dangerous places, like mazes. Easy to get into, very difficult to find a way out. We'll need to go in with a guide rope so we can find our way back. Aye, Captain. Let's use this. Good thinking. Octonauts, let's do this. Ready. Yeah! What was that? Hello? Is someone there? Don't be frightened. My name's Shellington. I'm an octonaut. Hello? Hello? Ah! 
What are you doing here? This isn't your cave. I'm a scientist. I was exploring. Oh, you're a Remipede. You bet I am. And so are they. <gasps> oh, my. Gentlemen, let's give him the smell test. Assume circle formation. One, two, three, and smell. <laughs> ah, you're not from around here, are you? Oh no, which way now? Captain, I say we settle this the pirate way. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a pirate by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That's the one, then. This place is like a maze. I'm glad we have this guide rope so we can find our way back out, Captain. Yes, especially since we've gone so deep inside. Aye, but where's Shellington? You'd think we'd have found him by now, mateys. That doesn't sound good. The rope! Yow! <laughs> Were you following me the whole time? You bet I was. We don't get a lot of visitors in our cave, so... We'd like to know what you're doing here. Well, as I said, I'm just exploring. Now that you've come this far, how are you planning on finding your way out? Well, oh, uh, I, I hadn't thought about that. Um, I might need a little help from you, actually. What makes you think I could help? Well, you're a Renipede. You live your whole life finding your way around dark sea caves. Hmm, you got that right. And you have an excellent sense of smell. Right again. You do know a thing or two about Remy Pete. Uh, hold on. I smell something else. I smell more visitors. Three of them. <gasps> we'll have to find Shellington soon, or these torches will run out. But how are we going to get out? We'll have to retrace our steps. This way. What's that? Octonauts! Shellington! Are you okay? I'm fine. I've discovered a very large group of renipedes. Um, hello there. Hello. So, I bet you're lost too, just like your friends here. I'm afraid so. We keep taking the wrong turn. Now we'll never find our way out. Why not? Because it's so dark. That makes no difference to me. I am blind. Blind? But how do you find your way around? The same as any remipede. We use our other senses. Smelling, touching, listening. Of course. And if the remipedes lead the way... We can listen and follow their voices. And we'll find our way out. <laughs> you sure will. Octonauts, follow those remipedes. Come on, this way. Nearly there. Oh, thank you, Remipedes. No problem. I'd be happy to show you around this cave again any time. Okay, let's head for home. Okay, Captain. I'll follow you in the. Oh. What happened to the Gup D? I I uh, think you may have bumped into a few things on the way here, Shellington. I think it's better if I drive home. I'm sure I could do better this time, Captain. It's just there's a couple of tricky turns along here. I wonder if Quasi would let me drive the Gup D. Uh, doubt it somehow. Oh, I'm much better now, Captain. Ha, 
Fish to Octopod. I'm about to go out and explore the coral reef. Get ready to see some great pictures. Very good, Dashie. We're all watching. Look at these coral fans. Beautiful. Oh, I've got to get a picture of that. Just a little bit closer. What happened? Dashy, come in. Octopod to Dashy. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've lost contact with Dashy. We're going after her. Tweak, we need the guppe right away. She's ship shape and ready to go, Cap. Peso, Quasi, into the guppe. Yow! Tweak, open the octo hatch. Aye, aye, Cap. Any sign of Dashy yet? Not yet, Captain. There she is, by that rock over there. Dashy, can you hear me? Hmm. Oh, oh, I, I, I hear you, Captain. Oh, she's awake. Wait, you need a checkup. Oh. How do you feel? I feel okay. You seem fine. My camera! Oh, it's fine too. Dashy, what exactly happened? I was about to take a picture and then I heard a very loud boom. It was so loud that it knocked me out. And that's all I remember. What could make a sound that powerful? I know what, me hearty. Dashy must have been struck down by the dreaded giant shrimp monster. But shrimps are small. This one's big. <laughs> When the shrimp monster snaps his giant claws, the boom is loud enough to knock out anyone who hears it. Uh, Quasi, I'm not sure we're dealing with a giant shrimp monster. I'm sure I didn't see any giant claws anywhere. Octonauts, let's find out whatever made that boom and stop it before someone else gets knocked out. Aye, aye, Captain. I'm with you, Captain. We'll divide up and search the area. But first, ear protectors, everyone. Hi, mateys. These will keep us safe from the boom of the giant shrimp monster. I feel safer already. Quasi, you search those rocks over there. Aye, aye, Captain. Dashy, you be our lookout in Gup A. And Peso, you take that area over there. Aye, aye, Captain. Huh? That fish still needs a checkup. Wait! I help any creature who is sick or hurt. I'll just take these off for a second so I can use my stethoscope. No sign of the shrimp monster yet. Peso? Ah, Peso. The shrimp monster snaps his giant claws again. Come on, I'll take you back to the gup.
Quasi to cap Barnacles. Barnacles here. Go ahead, Quasi. Peso's been knocked out, Captain. I'm on my way back. Barnacles out. Who's there? Oh. Peso. Peso. Can you hear me? I... I... I'm okay. Tell me, did you see the shrimp monster, me hearty? No, but there was a big boom noise like you said, Dashy. <gasps> oh no! Don't those belong to the captain? Yow! We've got to find him! I'm coming with you. I'll call you if I see the captain. You help the captain. I'm going to stop this shrimp monster once and for all. Gah. I can hear it, but I can't see it. And your giant claws, you scurvy beast! <gasps> oh, no, you don't. Peso, bandage wrap now. I surrender! I surrender! You're the giant shrimp monster? I'm not a giant shrimp monster. I'm a snapping shrimp. Snapping Snap shrimp? Yes. I'm one of the loudest creatures in the sea. We noticed. But why have you been attacking Octonauts? <laughs> I'm the one who's been under attack. I thought all of you were after me. So I did what a snapping shrimp does. I use my loud claw snap to protect myself from animals who want to eat me. We promise we don't want to eat you. Ah! We thought you were coming after us! Sorry for the misunderstanding. No hard feelings, but do you think you could untie my claw now? Um, no more snapping? Snapping shrimp's honour. But how can such a tiny little thing like you make one of the biggest sounds in the sea? Hmm, I don't know. I just kind of snap my claw like this. No! no! All right. I was just trying to work out how my claw makes that boom, that's all. Hmm. I think Dashy and her camera can help you do that. Really? Dashy, make sure your ear protectors are fastened correctly. Let's make a video of your claw snip. All right. Ready? Go! I got it! Now let's watch the video of it in slow motion. Snappy's claw opens and look at that bubble starting to form. And there goes that bubble right out of the claw. It looks like it's going to... Pop! Jumping jellyfish! Indeed! Would you look at that? <laughs> Whoa! Did you see how your big claw can make a bubble very fast? When the bubble pops, boom! So that's how a little snapping shrimp like you can make one of the biggest sounds in the sea! Thanks for showing me, Octonauts! Can we see it again? <laughs> Reporting for my training exercise, Captain. Very good, Peso. The guppy is ready, Cap. Thanks, Tweak. Now, 
Let's go over the practice plan one more time. First, I pilot the guppy through the twilight zone all the way down into the midnight zone. Aye! The darkest place on Earth. A place so deep that the sun can't shine there. I know. It's always nighttime in the midnight zone. But you can hit that button to turn on the super bright lights. Right. Then, after I get to the midnight zone, I land on the seabed and come right back up. As fast as I can. You get to go to the midnight zone by yourself. Captain, I volunteer to go on this training exercise with him. Peso has to do this alone, Quasi. I have to learn to make the trip to the midnight zone by myself so that I can help the animals who live there. A medic helps any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. Well, watch out for the vampire squid while you're down there. The vampire squid? What's that? A creature of the Midnight Zone, that's for sure. He wears a big cape covered in sharp spikes. His eyes glow in the dark. He squirts a horrible slime. And he lives in a haunted castle in the deepest, darkest part of the Midnight Zone. Don't worry, Peso. There are a lot of strange creatures down there, but no haunted castles. Now, let's begin. Ready, Captain. Tweak, open the Octo hatch. Please. You got it, Peso. Peso here. You're doing great. Just keep those flippers steady on the helm. Flippers steady, Captain. It's really dark now, and I'm not even close to the bottom. Oh, that's better. <gasps> What's that sound? All I have to do is touch down at the bottom and come back up as fast as I can. Sound again. I I made it by myself. All alone. All right, time to go. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh, it hurts. It hurts? Are, are you hurt? <laughs> yes. And nobody cares. Oh! I care. Hold on. Peso to Octopod. Peso to Octopod. I found a creature in the Midnight Zone who needs help. Repeat. I found creature. Midnight Zone. Help. Help. Octopod to Peso. Come in, Peso. Sorry, Captain. Sometimes the radio doesn't work very well way down in the midnight zone. Hmm. Keep trying, Dashy. A medic helps any creature who is hurt or sick no matter what. What seems to be the problem? Um, excuse me. Oh! Ah! Wait, don't be afraid. I'm here to help. Captain, I've lost contact with Peso. He could need our help. Wazi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've lost contact with Peso in the Midnight Zone. Captain, I'm ready to go after him. Right. The Duck B is ready to go. Please, I can help you feel better. I'm a medic. I help any creature who is hurt or sick. Really? Yes. Oh my, your eyes glow in the dark. Those aren't my eyes. Those are just a couple of lights I have on the top of my head. I can turn them off when I want to. Oh. <gasps> so those are your eyes. 
Well, it helps to have big eyes when you need to see in the dark. Oh, 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 Where does it hurt? Oh, it's one of my spikes. Uh, ow, ow. Spikes? I don't see any spikes. Just like the vampire squid. It feels like it's near the top. See it? I see it. It looks like it's poking you. Ow! So, do you think you can help me? Yes. I have just the thing to make it as good as new. Uh, uh, what are you going to do with those things? They're just tweezers. I'll use them to straighten out the spike. Oh, no, it'll hurt even more. I promise I'll be very gentle. <laughs> promise? Promise. Huh? Hey, so! <laughs> Are you all right? Ah, I'm fine. Never better. Are you all right? I think I was just slimed by the, the vampire squid. The vampire squid? A vast, a trail of slime. Stand back. I'll go after him. Wait, he's hurt. He needs our help. Quasi, Quasi, are you okay? Quasi, can you hear me? There's no answer, Tweak. I need to go after them. I'll get the Guff D ready, Captain. Oh, no. What's that? That's the vampire squid. Yow! Stay back. He's hurt. He's easily frightened, so please. Follow me and stay quiet and calm. All right, matey. But I'm ready to pounce if I have to. Don't be afraid. No surprises this time. <laughs> you promise? Promise. Peso! Quasi! <laughs> <laughs> Are you two all right? We've been slimed by a vampire squid. I've got to help him. He's hurt. Captain, the vampire squid is easily scared. It'll be much better if I go after him by myself. All right. Peso, we're here if you need us. <laughs> Please, don't swim away. It's just me, Peso. <laughs> I'm, I'm too tired to move, and my spike hurts more than ever. You've had quite a scare. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! My spike! It, it feels better! Good as new. You fixed it! You're amazing! <laughs> Just doing my job. Here's a sticker for being such a brave patient. Would you like to meet my friends now? I don't know. They're not as scary as they seem, I promise. Come on. OK. Captain Barnacles, Quasi, I'd like to introduce you to my friend, the Vampire Squid. Where's your cape covered in spikes? You mean this? Oh, yeah, that. This is not a cape. It's a webbing between my tentacles, and it helps me hide when I'm scared. <gasps> and when I'm really scared... Oh, <laughs> oh we know. You, you slime. slime! Oops, uh, sorry, Octonauts. I got a little carried away. Anyway, thank you for fixing my spy. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Farewell. That was a lot more than a training exercise today, Peso. Good work. Just doing my job, Captain. A medic helps any creature who is hurt or sick. Even if it does mean getting slimed. Ready to go, Tweak? Yep. 
I've put in an eject button just like you wanted, Quasi. It'll help you escape from the gup in an emergency. No! Press this, and you'll be bounced out of the gup beef faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Thanks, Tweak. Time to take a ride and test out the new button. Ow! Now, hold on. You need to know how to work this thing. I press the button, I get bounced out of the gut. Easy. First, you turn off the engine, then you press the button. Hi, I'm me hearty. Now open the octo hatch. If you don't turn off the engine first, the gut bee will drive away without you. Got it. Now let's go. You forgot, didn't you? Forgot? No! Um, forgot what? All right, all right. I forgot to turn off the engine before I pushed the eject button. And now I've lost my favourite gup. Captain, there's no time to lose. We've got to find it. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonaut to the HQ. Octonauts, the gut B is lost. And I'm the one who lost her, me hearties. The first thing to do is to work out where to look for her. Dashi, check the gup finder. It should show us where the gut B is. I'm already on it, Captain. <gasps> there she is! But it looks like it's stuck in the middle of something very large. Shellington, we may need you to help us figure out what this thing is. Tweak, we'll need the Gup C right away. To the launch bay. Almost ready, Cap. I can hardly wait to see the Gup B again, me hearties. Look, I found some pictures I took of you in the Gup B. I painted those shark teeth on her myself. We've won races together and made thrilling escapes together. <sighs> There's just no other gut like the gut bee, mateys. Don't worry, we'll get her back. This shouldn't take long. Is the gup sea ready, Tweak? Ah, ready, Cap. Yow! Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Captain, it looks like we're getting close to the gut B. Towing her back home should be an easy job. Aye, no trouble at all. Look at that! Jumping jellyfish! It's a giant kelp forest! Hmm, the gup finder shows that the gup bee must be somewhere inside the kelp forest. We'll have to go in and look for her. Quasi, you go... Oh. Quasi? Oh. Let's go, Shellington. <laughs> Amazing. Giant kelp is the tallest plant under the sea. It stretches up and up so the kelp leaves can reach the sun. 
Just like a forest on land, a kelp forest is a home for lots of different creatures. It won't be easy to find the gup bee in a kelp forest this big, but according to the gup finder, we're close. This way! Whoa! Watch out! There's a big orange shark in the forest! Orange shark? Hold on! That must be the gup bee! Come back here! What did you say about seeing a big orange shark? I saw it zoom into the forest, that's all. And this is my hiding place, so go away. Is this what you saw, matey? <gasps> yes. Oh, I can't look. Those big teeth make me nervous. Aye, matey, but they aren't real teeth. I painted them. Look. <laughs> stand back or else. Uh, Quasi, you better stand back because... Because what? <gasps> <gasps> Uh, he's called a swell shark. When he feels threatened, he swallows enough water to swell up like a balloon, and then... Yes, I know what happens then, Shellington. Look, now we're even closer to the gut bee. I'm coming for you, gut bee! Yeah. Hey, what's happening, guys? A shovel-nosed guitar fish. Oh, no. Does this one spit as well? No. He mostly hides under the sand. I knew that. We're looking for our lost gup. It's called the gup bee, and it's bright orange. Have you seen it? <clears throat> our gup finder shows that it should be right around here, but we can't find it. Hmm. I don't know about any gup, but when you feel down, it helps to look up. Oh, the scurvy creatures in this place are no help at all. We'll never find it. It helps to look up. <gasps> Wait, we do need to look up. Captain, a kelp forest is like a tall building with many floors. Ah, and so far, we've only looked for the gut bee down here. But it could be somewhere up there. Octonauts, let's go. The gup finder shows that the gup bee should be right here. Then why can't we see it? Where could it be? You! Yeah, you! Yeah, you. <laughs> here, over here. Who said that? Up here! <laughs> Up where? Right here, silly! <laughs> where? Captain, the kelp leaves are talking to me. Kelp leaves? Talking? They say that the gut bee's right here. Oh, but where? Look, there's nothing here but kelp. It's... it's... The gut bee! Yeah! Did you miss me? Ha <laughs> I missed you too. We told you it was right in front of you. You're not a kelp leaf. I'm a kelp fish. We're all kelp fish. <laughs> <laughs> they do look just like leaves of kelp. That makes it easy for us to hide whenever we want in the kelp forest. Come along now. Playtime is over. Hi, Mum. We really fooled them. <laughs> they thought we were kelp leaves. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, children. Octonaut, let's get the gup bee out of this forest. Yow! Aye, aye, Captain! <sighs> it's good to be back in my favourite gup. You just put your feet up, Quasi, but not on the eject button. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, very funny. <laughs> <laughs>